I don't know if anyone else has been following this NBC late night drama, but I have for a while now. Uh, ratings are down on Conan and Leno. They're thinking about pushing Leno back at 11.30 or 12 and then pushing Conan back almost to his old time slot or back to his time, old time slot exactly. And you know, it just it's it sucks that a lot of new people can't get Conan's humor. It, to me, it isn't that hard to get, and it's pretty funny. But they want the even more obvious humor of uh, Leno, and uh, I mean it, it's trash. And also, it's coming out of the woodwork that Leno never really wanted to retire from his spot. He was kind of forced out. It sucks. It sucks for everybody. The whole situation sucks. I, I wish uh, Conan could get out of his contract. A lot of people are saying, you know, how great would it be to have John Stewart, Colbert, and then Conan on Comedy Central. Of course, a lot of people say that, but cable pay isn't as good as network pay. So, I mean, another audience is saying, you know, it'd be great to be have Conan on Fox, where, you know, he'd get away with more outrageous skits and stuff he throws out there. I don't think NBC would even let Conan have his contract, even if they didn't use him at all, because he'd become rival competition if they just let him go and do his own thing. But uh, it's just like they're not giving him a chance, and that really bothers me. You, you gotta give the comb bone a chance. Give comb bone a chance. Eh? Eh? Come with me and you'll see a land of pure imagination! So, for the first time in about, I'd say seven years, seven years, I was able to catch some wrestling Watched uh, TNA and WWE channel surf between the two. They both had shows on, which is really refreshing. And uh, I love channel surfing between the two. That's the best thing about the whole uh, ratings wars on Monday nights with Raw and Nitro. Which you could just, if the other goes to the commercial, you go to the other and it's on. They, they, they were uh, staggered like that. So you always were watching something no matter what. And it was great. I actually enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. Although, you know, it's funny because what I missed on both shows made them both look better than they really were. Because, especially on TNA, because on TNA, I changed it over while Hogan was talking to the Outsiders. And I came back and he was ripping up uh, the paper. And I didn't know that was the script. Oh, gosh, no, not in there. Cave, cave, kayfabe, shoot crap angle. Uh, no, I thought it was their contracts because I, I didn't see them afterwards. I was like, oh, that's really cool. You know, they're talking about you know pushing new talent and stuff, and they're going to do it by getting rid of the outsiders right off the bat and say, well, this is about. But no, they're still there. I, I just didn't catch. I didn't catch the end because I was watching Bret Hart and stuff. And the Bret Hart thing. Um, that was interesting. A lot of people are, were saying no, they throw away that Shawn Michaels food. But I think it was really important to establish that Shawn, that, not Shawn Michaels, but that Bret Hart does not live in the past and he's moved on. Uh, that's kind of a hillish quality, you know, to live in the past, linger in it, and just become almost, just let it sour your whole personality. And uh, it was important for them to let Bret move on off of that point. Uh, the thing with McMahon, you know, making the food with him and stuff, uh, I almost feel like it started too early. I, I understand that's where they're going to go with it. But, I mean, it's almost like right after that you want to see retribution right away from Bret Hart towards McMahon. Because, I mean, it, it can't be one-sided, but there has to be a big payoff. I think the best thing they could have done was he kept on having him not meeting with Bret because of meetings until they finally had to meet with Bret. So... I don't know. It just bothered me a little bit. They started it this early, and I don't know if next week they're gonna try to make them, you know, get have Brett get one over on Vince. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna play that. He's got the blue jean shorts, great. Put the jersey on, Brett. Complete the outfit. Hockey jersey. That's how you used to roll, man. That's what you need. That's what he was missing. That's all he was missing. He was so close to just how it was. But eh, people keep on asking in the comments. I want some debris TV. Um, I have actually have some footage I'm going to put together. I'll have a good little season finale for this season. I mean, if you look, it would probably ran, I think it was 12 episodes, this latest run, which was all in HD. So we'll finish that off. And I don't plan on doing another debris TV season until about, uh, I say, the summer. It would take some time. 
I mean, it's something that you have to really gear up for. And while I'm talking about, you know, pushing stuff back, you know, I'm really, I'm going to put a little ultimatum out there. Uh, if I don't get 2,000 subscribers before the Ultimate Fighter starts up, I think it's Ultimate Fighter 11 with Chuck Liddell versus uh, Tito Ortiz, I am not going to recap it. I have almost no interest in recapping that season. I think it's really... I think I, I might have to say I think it might have jumped, jumped the shark last season. Uh, the Kimbo special treatment thing really got to me, and, and it just it's wearing thin. It's it's. I, I wish what they should have done this season totally is uh, took in the, the spring off, come back in the summer, then uh, return uh, 2011 spring. You know, just done one season this year just to help more talent grow and just to give it a layoff because it's. It's getting old. It's getting pushed down everyone's throat. It just doesn't seem worth the risk. So if I get 2,000, all right, fine. Hell yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Otherwise, don't expect it. Uh, it's just so much work. And <clears throat> like I said, I want to be at that certain point. And if people are requesting it and they want it, they tell me that's why they subbed. I'll put the effort in there. But I have to, like it is, I have to rush it, rush from work, watch the show, and tape the show. Then, right, you know, I'm writing down also my thoughts on the show as I'm watching it. And it's it's just a mess. It's hard. It's not easy, and it, like I said, it doesn't feel worth it anymore. But whatever, we'll see what happens. But I don't think I'll hit that 2,000, and I think I'll be able to enjoy my Wednesdays for once in a long, long time. Uh, sadly, my mic broke, so I'll no longer be doing blog TVs for right now. I really like doing blog TV. In fact, I found a lot more McDonald's and Burger King toys to have my little fun game on there. But I just don't have the mic. So it pisses me off to a really large extent that blog TV can't make software that interacts with my natural microphone on my camera. I mean, I could use the camera to tape me and I could do mime shit, I guess. Yeah, mime in this little box. You yeah. know stuff like that but I I can't I can't talk it's just crazy why why can't they make they could I think they can I mean just copy whatever the hell Windows Movie Maker is doing it's not rocket science so I could actually you know do something without that stupid external mic I don't like wearing it anyway but it broke it's done it sucks because I was really starting to gain some momentum there. Maybe I'll get a new mic. I don't know. It seems like mics go out way too easy. I don't know what's wrong with them. They just they just break too easily. Just the the stupidest shit breaks a mic, and I'm not going to get into that that scam rotating mics every week. Well, it's broke. Got buy a new one. You might broke, 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 broke. Da! No, no siree, Bob. I'm not getting into that pyramid scheme. Mm mm. Not to be too gloomy. I was looking at this this vlog so far, and it seems all doom and gloom and stuff going away. And you know, it seems kind of depressing. But I did also want to throw out there that I will be hosting some contests soon. Uh, I got several ideas for different kinds of contests, some with not such big prizes, some with better prizes, but you know, just various you know contests that I was thinking about hosting for a long time. I have a great idea for a raffle. I'm going to tell you that. I have an awesome idea for a raffle. Oh, man. One thing you'll be happy to hear is, while I took those, uh, I think I took like a week and a half or two weeks off, during that time, I, I swear to you, I made a video a day. So there is a stockpile of uh, noisy type videos, and I'll be able to, you know, hold some back, but put some on. I was going to do a schedule, because uh, I, I, I've been doing like every day for a while now. I think it'd be better if I did like five videos a week. It'd be like Saturday, shout out Saturday, Sunday, vlog, Monday I have off, then I do something Tuesday, Wednesday. Then Thursday I have off. Then Friday I come back with a short, probably a short video right before uh, shout out Saturday. So yeah, that's the idea. Um, I don't know. 
that's what I like so far. You know, if I ever had like anything pending, like I really wanted to get out there real fast, I could put something out, you know, Monday or Thursday. But otherwise, I'll probably try to stick to that as well as I can. And uh, I think that'll benefit everyone. Because, I mean, I hate putting videos up Monday and Thursday. I'm just so burned out Monday and Thursday. I don't feel like doing shit Monday and Thursday. And it's best I don't even try. But, yeah, I'm keeping warm. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Which I dread. Because the boss f something up really bad. And all I'm going to hear about is him trying to fix it all the damn day. Let's just say it involved a pipe bursting. I'll see y'all later. Gosh, 19 minutes. What am I going to do with this?